And this time she shapes it back. Looks like it's come off the pad. We'll test how fast this outfield is, and it just beats the fielder of Samantha Bates. Short and pulled, and there's no protection there for Cheadle. Just the three fielders on the leg side and can't afford to bowl that length so far in this competition. Well, Burns doing exactly what she wants to do. Alex Backwell goes back from cover and normally takes those type of catches but spills it at the last minute. Well, she goes down the ground this time and there's no mistaking it. She got a good piece of it. This time she goes over, sorry, she goes over to the long on area. I think it's six again, that's wonderful hitting. So Farrell again, just short of a length and bold comprehensively, Georgia Redmayne. So she never looked really comfortable. And again, Farrell with that excellent length. And again, the reverse sweep, and she's collected a lot of it. That's a delightful shot, racing away. It'll go down the hill a little bit there to the city end. And will just be put in, no, it reaches the boundary. So David Boone and, and those types of things. Watch Cheadle here and a genuine outside edge, and that's going to fly away to the boundary. So Heather Knight certainly had her share of luck. But So let's have a look at Heather Knight. She goes to give it everything and gets the fortunate one again, an inside edge, the old-fashioned French cut. And what a way to get off the mark. It wasn't conventional. I think the ball will... This time sweeping fine, and they may get a couple here. It's a little bit finer, a good piece of fielding. But Heather Knight will pick up. In fact, she'll get a boundary. Knight pulling it away to fine leg, and there's no fielder there. Last ball, and Heather Knight Incredible shot. just dispatches it over mid-off. One bounce for. Walk to the offside, Aaron. And bold. Yeah. She didn't do what I asked. No, she didn't. The earpiece wasn't in. So all of a sudden, the experiment of Aaron Burns opening up has worked to a certain extent. A free hit. Oh, yes. And driven through the cover region. So Amy Satherswaite, we'll talk about how she would perform coming in this late. Well, she's performed extremely well. So we'll, we'll see what Bates can do with a left arm orthodox. Short delivery and cutting into the gap. And that's a good shot. And that's going to race the rain nearly to the boundary. I think it's a good chase out there given by Taylor. But she can't retrieve it. Three out on the leg side. So again, this time hitting straight to mid-off. That should be swallowed, and it is. Cheadle takes the catch. That's an important wicket. Knight was looking so dangerous. Can Matthews to here. Full delivery and pulled behind square. She's picked the gap really nicely. And that'll be another boundary tonight. Last ball of her fourth ball. And this time Matthews flicking with real penetration and some power behind square. Back-to-back -back boundaries. She'll try again. Reverse sweeping this time and getting over the head. A really clever shot. And another boundary to the Hurricanes. Amy uh, Southerswaite, good enough. That was a good shot. And this time down the wicket. That's a rare. We've seen it all night. A wonderful cover drive. And another boundary to the Hurricanes. She's a cover driver, this girl, every day of the week. And again, she goes down the ground, well spotted, by, well picked up by you, Lisa. A good piece of fielding to finish off there by Bates. But the Hurricanes have had a terrific innings, a real surge at the end, and have finished with three for 171. They're not out batters. Satterthwaite ended up with 32 of 24, and a nice cameo from Matthew, 16 of her 11. And to say they need a good start is an understatement. So bowling this time, a full delivery, and that's, well, if you ever want to get a good start. Get the ball back into the right-hander. Pike short this time, pulling to nearly a catch taken a mid-wicket, just dropping short. Not quite getting over the top of there, Stephanie Taylor. The screen played a crucial role. She bounds in again, a quicker delivery, but cuts in her, compa her, her companion in Taylor. That's a good shot. Giving herself some room in the first boundary. This time to Hain. A full delivery and advancing and collecting a lot of it. Rachel Hain over mid on. That's a wonderful strike. Thunder as well. No, no, that, that's a good delivery. There's a little chance here for run out if they can collect. But again, Taylor's so quick. And they've gone here for a couple on the misfield. 
So a bit sloppy from the Hurricanes. A shot on. This might be close and it's out. I thought Taylor had all the time in the world, but the direct hit was coming. And that's a big blow. A run out and Taylor departs. The, in the T20 side. Hunter again. Full delivery in an inside edge. Trying to hoik an outside edge. Trying to hoik it over mid-wicket. A genuine mistake. So Sadis wait again. This time around the wicket advancing Hayne and she gets a lot of it. Over extra cover, a boundary. Good bit of footwork again. In the offside in the ring. Slower ball. And then put over mid on. I don't know if it'll get to the boundary. Oh, I think it might have. Yep. Deep in her crease this time. Tries to go the offside and what a great catch. It's the captain, Heather Knight. He's managed to take a nice AFL leap. Well, this time Stalenberg going. It's high in the air. Monica Pike, just that fine leg, throws out the arm, hoping that it sticks. And they come back for two. So a good over by Hepburn. But she'll give the batters a chance. And Blackwell takes it. And I'm just getting stuck in her hand. Blackwell still advancing down and punching it past mid-off. I guess the thing was, look at this for a strike. Well, it's gone. Stalenberg got such a good piece of it. She's managed to find the only fielder out in the leg side area, and that's Amy Satherswaite. And she's got such a safe pair of hands and simple catch. So Stalenberg departs for 11. Tony Matthews will get on with it to reverse lap, and that's a big shout. It looked pretty close. And it was a big risk taken. And we mentioned the need to keep on with the runs here. Blackwell, so important, being the dominant player in this series. Hepburn, again, outside leg stump and flicked. Finally, that's a very good shot. Should beat the fielder, and it does. And what is a, an exciting WBB all year is a, an attempted catch there in the covers. It was good contact from Core. But a real acrobatic dive. It's just restricted it just to one run. Hunter's last ball and her spill. Taking the pace off again in an outside edge. And another wicket well deserved to Julia Hunter. And Kerry will depart for seven. A good over so far. Just the two runs coming from it. Osborne again. Nice chance here. That's wonderful fielding, Lisa. Yeah, and gone. Really good work. Emma Thompson this time at mid-off. has picked up the ball cleanly. They needed a direct hit. Heather Knight took a good catch earlier. And here's another one. Well, first ball for Renee Farrell. She just crammed herself up. And in the end, just hit the simplest catch to Veronica Pike at point. And, and we saw with her good fielding ability again earlier on show. Koski trying to go to straight down the ground. Instead, she goes the opposite way with an outside edge. It just, just trickles to the boundary. That's a great place to work. Stumping now. So we're talking about how effective Hepburn can be with the ball. She doesn't pick up wickets, but she does this time. Full again and swept fine past Celeste Rack. And we'll take off to the boundary. We're able to get away tonight, or beat Haynes for a short time. And there's Cor going over the offside, and it'll just be one bounce four. You're in, you're in Madras, or you're in England, or you're in New Zealand. You catch it all now, which is just terrific. You can see some great cricket. Yeah, it is a great initiative that Cricket Australia have done, as so. the last ball has been bowled, and a very comfortable win by the Hobart Hurricanes. Having won the toss and elected to bat and posted three for 171. And then not only did their batters do the job, but their bowlers did as well as they were able to pick up wickets regularly throughout the Thunder innings.